So I thought we'd try a little change of pace here, a little bit of a different angle, maybe we get some better light. Uh, as you'll notice, I'm, recall, I'm recording many of these on the, uh, on the same day uh, because I don't expect to have time during the week to, to do more of them. And I thought it would be fun to, to post one a day for a while. So uh, that's the, the unchanged uh, uh, accoutrements and, uh, and clothing, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I don't usually write very much uh, short or, or flash fiction. I tend to focus on uh, longer stories, uh, at least 3,000 words, usually in the five to 8,000 word range. Uh, but this is a short one that I wrote uh, called The Digital Revival. Uh, and it came up, I was, uh, I was listening to NPR one day, uh, and something they said uh, triggered this, this idea. The Digital Revival. Remind me again what we're doing here, muttered Carl as his partner smashed a cudgel through a small window in a thick steel door. In the distant guardhouse, lights began to flash. I told you, said Mike, reaching through the window for the latch. We get in, we grab the thing, then we're out of here. No sweat. The door opened and the two men jogged down the hallway. Third door on the right. I know the plan, you idiot, said Carl as he knelt before a large metal door with a set of lockpicks. A small sign above read, Xenobiology Storage. What I mean is, what are we doing here? Sure, she's some kind of scientist, but her father is Fingers Malloy, for God's sake. The lock clicked open. Why isn't he here? Revivication science, stretched Mike. He paused in his examination of tall metal shelves stacked neatly with sealed boxes. Look for X31J, size of your palm. He moved further down the row. She said the idea made him uncomfortable. Here we are, cried Carl, holding up a small plastic case marked with biohazard symbols. A long, thin object rattled gently within. Let's go. They ran for the back door, well ahead of the guards just now entering the front of the laboratory building. As the thieves gunned their engine, the guards discovered their disabled vehicles. Mike waved to the rearview mirror as they shot out the gate. All I'm saying, insisted Carl later as they drove past the dry bed of Papoose Lake, is that here's Molloy, master thief and all, but when his daughter needs him, he shook the plastic case, the guy won't even lift a finger to help. So uh, there's not much there. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a bit of a, a joke a story, but as I said, I was listening to NPR and somebody said something about not lifting a finger to help. And uh, for whatever reason, my mind went straight to, uh, to thievery, that meaning of, of lift. And I thought, well, what would be an interesting science fiction story about lifting a finger, stealing a finger? And of course, it immediately had to be an alien finger. And I put it uh, in, in roughly uh, uh, Area 52 um, so that uh, it would have some, some purpose.